Hello and welcome to another short film from Roud and Bromham Churches. Today we're in St Nicholas Church. It's so good that we can meet together in church for worship and our next service here is later today on the 18th of November at 10 o'clock. For those of you who can't come to church at the moment, I hope you find this film helpful. Just a little bit of the atmosphere of our Sundays together. It often feels as though life's unfair. In our reading today, we hear that although some people have more power than others in this world, God doesn't discriminate at all, but treats each of us without fear or favour. We begin, as usual, with a prayer, reminding us of God's constant love for us every day. Let's pray. Faithful God, whose steadfast love never ceases and whose mercies never come to an end, grant us the grace to trust you and to receive the gifts of your love new every morning. In Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our reading today is from Matthew's Gospel, chapter 22. Then the Pharisees met together to plot how to trap Jesus into saying something for which he could be arrested. They sent some of their disciples, along with the supporters of Herod, to meet with him. Teacher, they said, we know how honest you are. You teach the way of God truthfully. You are impartial and don't have favourites. Now tell us what you think about this. Is it right to pay taxes to Caesar or not? But Jesus knew their evil motives. You hypocrites, he said, why are you trying to trap me? Here, show me the coin used for the tax. When they handed him a Roman coin, he asked, whose picture and title are stamped on it? Caesar's, they replied. Well then, he said, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. His reply amazed them, and they went away. One of the most searching questions you can be asked at interview is, how would your enemies describe you? This week, we've heard leaders on the campaign trail in America describing each other in unflattering ways. It can make watching the debates uncomfortable especially if you genuinely want to hear what their policies might be. The possibility of further lockdown in various parts of this country has sparked a certain amount of judgmentalism in our national debate too. It's easy, isn't it, to draw on your own prejudices when you hear about infection rates in other places, and far too easy to blame one group of people or another, the council. The students, large families, pubs, the government, anyone who goes out to work, anyone who doesn't understand the rules. Yet, when the boot is on the other foot, we hate being judged. I don't want anyone to comment on my choices unless they've walked a similar path to me. Perhaps this is summed up by a rather good motto I saw on Facebook this week. Don't judge me for the choices I make when you don't know the options I had to choose from. What is reassuring is that God doesn't judge us like that. He loves each one of us equally. Jesus' enemies tried to trap him, but even them described him as someone who is honest, who is impartial and who doesn't have favourites. If that's how his enemies describe him, it must be true. And God does understand our path because Jesus came to live like us, a human life, with all the temptations and limitations that we face. So whatever we face each day, we know that we have a loving friend and comforter who loves us no matter what. Let's pray now, bringing all of our concerns to Jesus, our friend and saviour. Jesus, light of the world, 
Bring the light and peace of your good news to the nations. We pray that you would bless the leaders of our world, give them wisdom in their decisions, compassion in their policies, and kindness in their dealings with others. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, good shepherd, who gave up your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, friend and saviour, walk closely alongside us this week. Help us to see others through your unbiased, compassionate eyes. Help us to be kind to the people we meet and also kind to ourselves. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life, be with us and all who follow you in the way. Deepen our appreciation of your truth and fill us with your life. Jesus, Lord of life, in your mercy, hear us. And we pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you all, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and those you love this day and always. If you'd like support from us at Roud and Bromham Churches, then please do get in touch. Either leave a message in the comments on YouTube or find us on our Facebook page. We go into the world to walk in God's light to rejoice in God's love and to reflect God's glory.